Ardha Chandrasan, which is king of the fishes. So right leg goes out, left leg over the right, very tall spine. If your hips are flexible, you can bend this right knee in, but make sure you're not sitting on your feet. If your spine rounds in this position, you need to sit on a block. So you would be here if your hamstrings are tight because the spine is always priority and it needs to be in neutral. Opposite elbow to knee. Left arm comes around the back. Tall spine and begin your rotation. Make sure both sitting bones are anchored onto the floor. And your left arm is right up next to your spine, straightening the elbow so that your spine reflects that straightness or the neutrality. Bring your focus to the forehead. The sixth chakra, the color is indigo blue or a purple blue. This is about receiving your orders for the future. So this pose is a good place to just ask. What are my orders for today? Gather them out of the light. Two part Ujjayi breathing. Get fascinated with the ribs. Release very slowly and switch legs. Begin your rotation. Feel your collarbones rise on the inhale and the exhale. You're getting taller. You're rooted through the tailbone, through the red to the earth. The orange is activated. The belly is twisting and contracting. The yellow is activated. The heart is widening through the front chest and the back chest. The green is on. Retract your head, move it back some. So the throat chakra is alive. And then move your awareness to the indigo blue at the forehead. Neanderthal man has a bigger brain than modern man, but his frontal lobe is smaller like a primate. Our very large frontal lobe in our forehead is the difference between us and the rest of the creatures on the planet. So maybe there is something to it, the indigo blue of the forehead. Maybe a piece of the spirit resides there. a nice way of looking at life. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. Ask for your orders. And then release. Whew, shake it out.